Hi everyone, this is Miss Michi, 38, and showing you the New York skyline on a beautiful summer day. I'm be behind the, the park. So they have um, like little walkways, they can take walks, bring the doggies in to do their business. outside today. So calming. It's a great place to meditate. Got the Empire State Building right there. It's right there. I forget that my flip zooms. The new World Trade Center is going to be coming up soon. It's going to be down there somewhere. I be down there somewhere. I just don't want to go down this hill. <laughs> somewhere around that area. Really nice. Sun is beaming. It's a great place to think and pass time. You can see the building so clear today. It's a lot of the brush it's like flourishing all over so it's kinda of hard but the sky is beautiful. It's so clear. We were supposed to have thunderstorms. Mm, we didn't get anything. We were even on tornado watch. Nothing came. Come up with me. Life is beautiful. This is this park. This back side of the park. Hill towards the path. And that's the park over there. I love this park. It's really nice. I like to bring the kids here. Go we'll playground over there. You could tell by my voice I've been feeling like a little down. You know, just a little down lately. My energy's gone down again. I'm trying to bring it up, you know, so I figure I come pass by. Take a nice walk to the park and sit at the bench and think. Bench. Make a video. I'm trying to zoom out. I just want to zoom. Come on out. <laughs> the zoom is. Acting up with the seagull. It's really windy and it's nice out here. There it goes, it's zoomed out. Hi, just wanted to make a video. Um, just looking at you and I really I get to a point that I don't care. I hope I see my face. You like my glasses? <laughs> so cool, right? Anyway, yeah. It's Michelle. Um you know what? I feel down because of uh, financially things are not very good. Um everything else is getting really bad. Not bad, bad, but you know, financially stuff is not as good anymore. Um, you gotta, you gotta work paycheck by paycheck and it's really depressing. Um, I hope you don't think I'm crazy, but I hate it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's the cutest little Yorkies. 
Anyway, yeah, it's just been hectic and school's been hectic. Um, I'm gonna be going to take a test tomorrow and a little worried about it. So I just need a lot of prayers, a lot of light come my way because I'm really, really, really scared about this exam. Um, the exam is for school. It's nothing major like health-wise or anything like that. But I'm scared about this exam because I've failed it plenty of times. And tomorrow I have to take it at 2 p.m. And I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I've been doing some reviewing of my questions. The math, I have to review it tonight. But it's just not there. I just, I can't pass this exam. And I just can't pass it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to stay focused and positive and try to pass the exam. <laughs> so, yeah. As I'm sitting here and trying to regroup and reground myself and focus and try to get some of my energy levels. I'm just doing this video right now is bringing them up somewhat and I'm glad for that. But please send some lights and some prayers my way. Yeah. And some love, light, energy. Please send it my way. I really need it, guys. I really need you guys to do that for me. Light a candle. <laughs> Anything. I'm really, really, really stressed out and I'm scared. Um, I'm trying to see if I could take the test another day. But they won't let me know until actual tomorrow, so let's see what happens. I hate exams. I always hate exams, especially the state exam. Um, I passed the, the course itself with an A. I passed the nursing course because um, I was taking a course for LPN. I passed. I passed everything. I passed the final. I did everything. I just cannot pass exam and it's it driving me crazy it's driving me crazy I don't know what to do I really don't know what to do anymore anyway let me stop rambling I want you guys oh look at that cute little he's walking with something in his mouth I can't get him it's a squirrel I don't know if you can see him Talking with this big thing in his mouth, I don't know what it is. He's going up the, the tree already. Aww. <laughs> that was cute. I doubt very much you could see it. Yeah. I have to go pick up my son. Um, after this and everything. See how he's doing and see how his field trip where he went to an Indian reserve. Um, at first, they didn't need chaperones, but at the last minute, they asked me, and my son said no. He made me feel so sad. He told, he started crying in front of everybody and my parents. He said, no, forget it, I wanna go home. So I was like, you know what, forget it. I let him go, and just, but that broke my heart too. I think that's why my energy is on. That made me feel sad. I never thought my son could break my heart like that, but he did. I know he's only 10 years old and he's a kid, you know? A little kid. Everything embarrasses him. Everything. Even mommy. I don't know why, because I'm talking to kids like this. But it, it hurt me. It did something to me a little. Anyway, I hope his field trip went well and he had a lot of fun. What else? What else can I tell you guys? I just want to say hi to my new subscribers. Hi. <laughs> I'm not always like this, um, but I just want to say hi to you guys and thank you for subscribing to my channel. and.